Hi everyone. Um, I call this like a late night, a late night um, during the moon, and uh, it's hard to sleep tonight. So I thought I'd do a a late night story of the day. So this is Theo. Theo is my little boy, and um, Theo has been with me since um, 2011. Um, Daddy Chris brought Theo home um, in 2011. And uh, the first time uh, Daddy brought uh, Theo home, Theo was Theo was just um, twelve months old, which is about eight weeks. And um, ever since then, Theo has been with me until now, through thick and thin. So uh, you know, they always say that you're dog like a dog is a man's best friend which is true because no one is closer to you than your dog not even your husband not even your lover but your dog they see everything um theo used to follow me everywhere even to the washroom <laughs> um you know i would be taking a shower and you know i look out the the uh, shower curtain and i would see theo two eyes staring at me and uh, everywhere I go like he would follow me and you know like like you your dogs see everything about you like I swear everything more than anyone can ever see of you so that's why they say a dog is a man's best friend and I cannot agree more so um Theo was our first little boy, and then um, uh, Daddy and I decided to got Theo um, a partner. So we got Cookie and Ellie uh, for Theo, and then uh, during that time, Theo was such a handsome boy, and he's still so handsome now, and. Uh, he had um, um, puppies, which in other words means I had a few grandkids, well actually a lot of grandkids, because Theo was such a, um, what you call it, he was such a handsome um, boy that uh, um, he, he made a lot of puppies with Ellie and also Cookie. So um, both Ellie and Cookie are, you know, um, are in heaven now. And uh, Theo is the one left. And um, for the past um, almost five weeks, Theo haven't been feeling very well. Um, Theo haven't been eating at all. He just takes a bit of water and um, so um, Theo have not been feeling very well. And uh, on Saturday, before I had to go uh, to do the uh, mental health gala fundraising uh, outside show, uh, Theo was very ill in the morning and then uh, Theo uh, vomited and uh, didn't feel well. So I, I, um, I 
had to send uh, Theo over to Grandma and Auntie uh, Nilo and Maggie to take care of Theo. But, um, So, um, Theo, uh, like I said, haven't been feeling well, so uh, he couldn't walk at all now. Um, he couldn't even stand, so uh, it's very hard for Theo to go to the washroom and uh, stand. And uh, three times I have witnessed Theo, uh, Falling into like a stroke, he just dropped dead, and uh, it scared the living day out of me. So, uh, just resting but uh, he's a uh, very much in pain just that uh, a dog they don't tell you they can't tell you when they're in pain but there are signs that tells you that they are very in pain So like I said, uh, Theo has been with me through thick and thin, like 13 years of my life, everything that, uh, happy times, sad times, Theo has always Sorry guys, it's hard to tell the story. I think uh, this story of the day is one of, well, it's one of the hardest stories that I can tell because it brings back uh, too much memories. But uh, like I said, a dog is truly a man's best friend, and Theo was and always will be. Sorry guys, uh, just give me a minute. Oh. Uh. So 
So, my story of the day today is appreciate every single moment you have with your loved ones. It could be your husband, your boyfriend, your mom, your dad, anybody, your best friend, or even your dog. You know, I've, I've never seen Theo as a dog. He's always been my, my little boy and, you know, so I've had him since, I had him for 13 years and I just can't believe how fast time has gone by, you know, and uh, so many memories. You know, I'm pretty sure you guys see me post a lot of pictures of Theo and how handsome he was. And he still is, you know. Look at this face. I would be doing events. I would be doing, uh, you know, fundraising all the time. And the one thing that makes me rush home every single night is to be with Theo. You know, he's waiting for me at home. Of course, there's Boon Boon and there's Bell Bell, but, uh, you know, I've always had that soft spot for Theo because he was my first little boy. So, uh, every time I finish an event, uh, I remember, um, Um, I remember me and then you will be doing a lot of late nights uh, fundraising and every time I come home like I would see Theo at the front door uh, waiting for me and you know every time I come home and I'm like Theo good boy Theo and you would see like the way he shows me that he's happy is he run around in a circle and, you know, sometimes when I come home late, he would like, hoo, hoo, hoo. he would make these crying sounds. Like, I miss you, mommy. Where did you go all day? Or where did you go for so long, you know? And that's another beautiful thing about a dog is that they have so much patience. They have, like, they, they, they wait for you for so long. And you come home. They cry a little bit to tell them, to tell you that they miss you. And then after that, you hug them, you give them some treats and, you know, I, they never get mad at you. They always give you that unconditional love. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's the most beautiful thing in the world to have a dog. If anyone does not have a dog, I highly re recommend you to have one. And, you know... You will, you will see that they're not just a dog after you have them. They become your children. Or sometimes they're actually even better than your children because they don't argue. And, you know, they, they, they are just loyal, uh, oh, like, just wonderful creation of God. And, uh, I was very lucky to, to have Theo. Um. I remember when uh, Chris, uh, daddy, brought me to go and see uh, Theo. Um, Theo, uh, Chris was uh, Theo's first dad. And I remember Chris uh, and I went up to Linda, which is one of the breeder of the Bichon Frise. And uh, Chris and I didn't know who to pick because there was like a litter of like four puppies. And, um, uh, Chris was like, you know, um, you choose our first boy. So then, um, uh, I looked at them and I didn't know which one to pick because they all looked the same. And then I looked at the puppies and then I said, okay, mommy's going to walk away and whoever runs after me, I will bring you home. And you know what? I turn around. 
I walked about four steps away, and guess who ran after me? Theo. He ran. He he ran uh along up to me, and from then I know that Theo was gonna be my first little boy. And I got him home, and when I first had him, I was still living at home with my aunt, and my aunt doesn't like dogs, so I had to hide it from her. So I remember、uh, Chris brought the Theo home to his place first for a couple of days, and then、um, I would kind of sneak. Theo into my bedroom at my house, and then my aunt, uh, Bu, uh, found out suddenly that I got a puppy. So it was、um, hard for her to accept at first, but when Theo was two months old, he was so cute, so adorable, that、um, he he won Bu's heart. And even though Thu didn't like dogs, but because I insisted and I begged and I promised the whole world to her that I'll be such a good girl,、um, she ended up letting me keep the ill. But because I didn't have a dog before, so and I didn't know how to train the ill, so the ill was very naughty and pee all over the place, and you know got into a bit of trouble. And then,、uh, but regardless.、Um, Even though Thu didn't like dogs, but Theo won her heart. Like even she, you know, liked it, Theo. And、uh, when I was off on my mission trip、uh, with Anya,、um, Thu would, you know, take care of Theo for us、um, for four weeks. Obviously, he he um. Uh, he fat and he bye bye because he was built and because、um, I was away for four weeks. So、uh, Theo just nghe lời. He only listens to me, right? So、uh, even though Thu really loved Theo, but you know she had a hard time with him when I was on my mission trip.、Um, and he became、uh, Theo's second dad, and. I remember I used to spoil Theo like crazy,、uh, giving him treats and all that, and you know Theo loved Anyuk very much as well.、Um, the thing that I've always been jealous of Chris and Anyuk is that despite of me being Theo's mom, if it was me and Chris or Anyuk sitting there, he would go to them first. He go to them first. He sat there for a minute, and then he'll see my grumpy face, looking at him, and then he will jump over to me. So、um, that is some memories of Theo. And then when I moved out, I brought Theo with me, and、um, when、uh, me and Anya left for our mission trip, it was. The old Lilo that took care of Theo, and every time,、uh, one time when I、uh, left Theo at home with the old to babysit,、um, I came back with a surprise that I'm gonna be a grandmother. So Theo and Belle got naughty when I was on my mission trip, so they made some puppies, and、um, as you can see, you know. All these years that I've shared photos of my kids and grandkids, you can see how beautiful、um, Theo and Belle and Cookie made the puppies. And、uh, one of the puppies from Theo and Belle that we kept is Peachy. So you guys see a lot of pictures that I post of Peachy.、Um, Peachy is、um, over at my mom's house. So my mom and Lilo and Maggie looks after Peachy, which is、um, Theo's daughter, and、um, we still have one little、um, 
pub left from Theo. So, um, and Peachy look exactly like Theo, like, you know, người ta nói là con nhà tông không giống lông cũng giống cánh. Cho nên, uh, Peachy rất là giống như là một giọt nước y như uh, Theo. And then, chị U and chị Ân always like, oh, con ruột cho nên nó nhìn giống. But, uh, Theo rất là đẹp. Um, rất là ngoan cho nên những cái puppy mà Theo uh, cùng uh, uh, làm ra với Bell uh, và Cookie thì bé nào cũng đẹp đó vừa đẹp và vừa ngoan tại vì uh, uh, Theo là giống chuẩn là Pigeon Frise cho nên uh, các bạn thấy rằng uh, Uh, Theo có cuộc sống khá là uh, khá là câu gì ta tông luôn hả không biết đâu no, không phải đúng từ ngữ but anyway he he was such a handsome uh, handsome boy and uh, But uh, what I always remember Moses Every time I come home I would see, see Theo Greeting me and Always so happy to welcome me home And whenever I'm lying there He will always come and have me hug him And uh, But he doesn't let me hug him for a long time Just a short period of time, but every night I am addicted to Theo uh, sleeping next to me, and uh, he would always like to sleep uh, on my feet. But I want to hold him, so I always like tap, like three tap, like this one, two, three on the pillow to make a noise so those three slap like one two three on the pillow to make that sound and every time Theo hear that it's like a training for him to come to me and that's how I train him every time I tap like this that means Theo would come and he is so clever that he's at my feet so I tap three times he comes to, to my knee So he knows that I want to hug him and come close to me, but he 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 try to give me the, uh, you know, not he 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 want to take his time and uh, kind of like play around with me. So I have to tap like many times for him to move from my leg to my knee to my hip and then to my arms. So. You know, people say that, you know, dogs don't understand. They understand everything and they're so clever. You, you couldn't even believe. And Theo does the most cutest thing. Like, you can never be mad at Theo. Like, even though sometimes when he was a puppy, he, he was such a bad boy. Like, he bit my shoes, uh, nibble on my my blankets, like the corners. You would see him, like, like he liked to chew on them. And, uh, but, uh, despite of all that, he's, like, as he gets older, he becomes so affectionate and such a wonderful boy. So, but, um, that's the good time, or the happy times of having a dog. It's all the beautiful time you share with them and, you know, you share with them everything. Every single thing, guys. Like, they see everything. Even your darkest secrets. But the saddest thing is that, unfortunately, they can't outlive you. And, um, you know, when Theo is sick like he is now, it just makes me feel so useless that I cannot, like, I can only try to understand what he wants. But you know, with a 
puppy, they don't tell you what's going on. They don't tell you, like, they don't tell you like humans. And, um, you know, stop seeing him fell and cannot stand and almost, you know, go into a, a stroke three times. I, ju I just, it was so heartbreaking. And, you know, like the other day, Theo, you know, every night Theo, I leave the door open for him to go to the washroom, inside the washroom. And then he comes back and jump on the bed. So the other day, um, you know, a few times I see him having a hard time walking, but he still managed to go pee in the washroom. He doesn't make accident on the car anymore. Sorry, uh, he doesn't make accident on the um, bed anymore. But he would walk over to the washroom and uh, go pee pee. And um, his legs were so weak that, um, you know, after like 30 seconds, I didn't see him uh, come into the bedroom. So I ran out and um, I saw the elf just lying, you know, flat on the floor. And, you know, his eyes was looking at me as if like he's telling me like, Mommy, like, why, why can't I stand up? You know, the, the look on his eyes is like, he doesn't, he doesn't understand what is going on, why he could not control his legs. And his leg is so weak that he cannot stand, so he fell like a dead dog on the floor. So I ran and I, I picked him up. Alright guys, I don't think I can tell the story anymore, so we guess she's gonna go to sleep and uh, hope they'll feel better tomorrow. Okay. Mommy loves you very much, okay? Good boy. Theo ngoan, Theo ngoan cô bé, Theo giỏi nha, Theo ngoan.